Hey guys, it's Hexer18. In this video, I'm going to show you how to DNS spoof using Set and EditorCat. Um, it's going to be a, a, part, a two part tutorial. So, in this part one, I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, virtual machine for Backtrack 4 R2, which is the latest. And um, I will be uh, showing you uh, how to set up the uh, social engineering toolkit that the, the set so um, it's a script that comes with backtrack and um, we'll be going through that so let's go ahead and get started I got backtrack here running in uh, virtual box it's up to date I got my network already going I did an ith config here and I got my IP address here at 192.168 uh, local number uh, local IP address so um, if you, you don't know how to do that, you know, VirtualBox networking, um, you have to go to the uh, bridge network adapter and set that to um, your um, your interface that you use, whether it's wired or wireless, which I'm using wireless on my laptop right now. Um, anyways, uh, to get that set up for your networking, if you've never done that yet, um, you'll need to do a slash etsy slash i i n i t dot d slash networking space star press enter and then your your network networking and backtrack will start and if you have wireless you might have to you know set that up and everything but in um in virtual machine for me it's all done in F, um and wired so um and uh so in this demonstration right here we're gonna be going through a script um that comes with backtrack okay so um if you you know don't feel like using a script and you'd rather make your own you you can um if you like you could uh uh, go through and install um, let's see here um, you can install here you go okay you can go through and install apt get install Apache and uh, you will have to also install um, PHP which I believe PHP 5 is the latest um, let me know if I'm wrong or whatever. So, um, and then you'll have to install the the lib file, the lib uh, Apache mod um, for PHP five and everything. So, once you get all that installed, then you have to go find the targeted website and grab all the index files and everything, and then you have to drag and drop that to Apache too much work I don't want to do that I'm lazy I'm sorry but I'd rather use a script that makes my life easier so what we're gonna do is you can use your terminal to nav navigate to the uh, to where it's at I believe it's under pen test um, exploits slash uh, set there we go now you can also navigate through this the menu which is backtrack uh, penetration and then social engineering toolkit make sure they update that and then you know click the the script there the social engineering toolkit um, okay but once we're here you launch set execute it and you want to uh, go through and just follow along with me here you want to uh, go through the menu so we want to do a web attack vectors number two press enter and then we want our attack that we want to do is we want to do a, cr a credential harvester attack method number three and we want to clone the site so number two and the website that we want um, in this case in my demonstration and tutorial I want to use Facebook so here I'm typing www.facebook.com press enter it's cloning 
the website doing its thing. Now it just says uh, that the best way to do this attack is username and password fields are available. So, you know, websites that have, um, that captures posts in the uh, HTML uh, for the web page, that would be best for, for any of those sites. So press enter, we're fine here. Okay, now it's running. Now, once this is running, we're good to go. We have our clone site set up and working. And um, now we're just ready to spoof the DNS server with Ettercap. So, let me know how uh, part one is, and I'll see you guys in part two. So, I'll talk to you guys later.